So it generally starts with an outline, and I usually uh, begin to work with my students or postdocs well in advance of the point when we're ready to write a paper and start to generate that outline. Uh, I do that for a few different reasons. One, it really can take quite a bit of time to uh, take your initial ideas, put together an outline, step back, look at it objectively, rework it, and get it to a point where you really have the best framework to, to write and present your results. Uh, it's easy to get buried down in the weeds of your research and can be very difficult to take a step back once you have a body of work that maybe has taken one, two, or three years to amass and to think about how best to present that to an audience uh, that wants to get to the main points and the main highlights very quickly. The other thing in writing is, uh, and I tell this to all my students writing papers, is you have to make an outline and we're not talking the general outline, oh, introduction, experimental, no, no, detailed outline. So you have your, your title, you know, your first things, and then you have your sub things, and then you have your sub sub items, right? So that you get an uh, outline that is so detailed that it's almost down to a couple sentences for each little sub sub section. So that you spend most of your time organizing. And then when it goes back to actually writing the sentences, it's much easier. You're just filling in, you know, we had a little phrase, now you're filling it in with two or three sentences. And uh, most people uh, object to writing a detailed, detailed, detailed outline. Um, but I think when you do that, then you've done most of the work. So the outline is generally the starting point, and we will work and revise that outline uh, multiple times till we get it to a format where we think uh, we've, we've got the, the framework to, to present the results. The other, uh, I think, important aspect of writing the outline early is very often as we're putting that outline together, we'll recognize key experiments uh, that we've not performed uh, that we need to, to think about putting into the paper. Okay, you know, it's like uh, when you are constructing a house, you need a drawing plan, right? You cannot just build a house, okay, I'm going to build a house and start building the wall. So same way when writing a paper, you cannot just say, I'm going to write the paper. So you bring all the data together and see how they fit in, whether it makes a nice story, and then you lay out a plan how you are going to address these kind of uh, questions or uh, what kind of scientific issues, whether you have all the data that is necessary, so the outline helps you uh, more than one way is uh, see where you stand in terms of writing a paper. If all the corners are covered, then you know you have a good uh, outline to start a paper. Thank you.